Those of you with smaller cars, boats, or power sport vehicles have a tough time finding audio gear, mainly because of space issues and exposure to the elements like water and dust. Kenwood's KAC M3004 is a compact four-channel amplifier designed to be mounted in space-constrained places and features conformal coating for marine and power sport use, making it an ideal option to power your speakers on your boat or ATV. How compact is it? With dimensions of six and a half inches in width, one and three quarters inches in height, and three and seven eighths inches in depth, you have no issues finding a spot for the KAC M3004. But given its size, this micro amplifier obviously isn't the most powerful amp you can buy. Kenwood rates it 50 watts RMS by four channels at four ohms, 75 watts RMS by four channels at two ohms, and 150 watts RMS bridged by two channels. This is for sure going to be an upgrade to any factory system you might have, but whether or not it's worth the $150 price tag is up to you. Inside the box is a warranty card and instruction manual. High level speaker harness with a weather protection plug cover. Hardware. And four channel amplifier. Kenwood also includes protective covers for controls. The amplifier's conformal coated circuit board helps keep moisture out, but also aids in preventing damage from vibration, so components don't vibrate out of place, especially on vehicles like ATVs when you're bouncing around like crazy. And yes, the amplifier is marine capable, but that doesn't mean it's a floaty, it's an amplifier. It's not completely water or splash proof. Treat it like any other amplifier and install it somewhere devoid of direct sunlight and moisture. The KAC M3004 will accept a signal from just about any source, whether you're using RCA cables from an aftermarket receiver or speaker level inputs from a factory radio. All necessary speaker connections are available in the wiring harness, which can be used to tap directly into the speaker level outputs on your head unit's wiring harness. In added convenience when using the speaker level inputs, the amplifier will sense the signal and turn on itself, so you won't need to run a remote turn on lead to your car stereo. On either side of the RCA inputs are gain control and crossover settings. For crossover adjustments, the amplifier has both high pass and low pass filters, as well as input sensitivity for both pairs of channels. Let's test it out for ourselves. The first test we ran was two channels driven at four ohms, 14.4 volts, 40 hertz, one kilohertz. Kenwood rates it 50 watts per channel here. Our audio precision will generate our signal and measure distortion. Our HPA 903B audio analyzer picked up 50.9 watts RMS, 0.6% distortion, and 14.1 volts of output. We can switch between channels. Our AMM1 read 46 watts. 14.2 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 9.4 amps of current. Down to 40 hertz, our HP picked up 49.3 watts RMS, 0.02% distortion, and 13.9 volts of output. Channel swap. Our AMM1 read 56 watts, we got 14.9 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 9.57 amps of current. Our final test was frequency response. We used our audio precision to run up each frequency. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com, get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links for everything in the bio below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.